Mapstruct, a solution frameworks, a mapper where you can go to and from Java objects if without using reflection. On today's video, you're going to learn more how and why should you use this solution instead of do it manually. Hello you, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Otavio Santana, and if you are a senior engineer who wants to know a move your career to and from an, another level, welcome to my YouTube channel and learn more about the conversion and why you should not do it manually. My next step is creating a new class to do the conversion. So I will create a record here Let's imagine a scenario with DTO just to make it easier. But remember, you can use as adapter, as model, anything like this. And I will create the ID as a string instead of UUID. And if you remember, it will have a different field name. So here is track ID, and over here is just ID. When city and finally country so I do have my DTO I do have my class and the next step with mapstruct is to create my interface that will uh, do the mapper operation so I, I will create my delivery mapper and this interface here we have two methods the delivery to entity that will receive the delivery DTO and my of course my DTO to DTO where I will receive my entity so I come here and the last step is to define my class as a mapper this annotation enables map structure to read and implement this class. To do the basic operation, that is it. But if you remember, I put a little bit of complexity inside my fields. So I need to map in and I say, okay, those one that has different fields, you need to do a different kind of uh, target and source. So I come here, I use a mapping annotation and Oops, not you. And then you say, hey, the track ID is my target. And the source is the ID. My target to delivery and my source to my from my DTO. And then I need to come here, copy and paste, of course, and then do the opposite. So this one here will have the ID. And this one here will have the track ID. IntelliJ also has an awesome, awesome plugin to make it even easier. Right now, we, we do have the interface. You do have the, the DTO and the entity itself. The next step is to inject this class. So what we can do, I come here. I will create my test. And then... I will come here, I have my delivery, delivery mapper, where I will just call mapper, and then I will come here and define my setup. I will define as before it, and then I will create my mapper, uh, I will use the mappers on the struct. mappers get mapper and then I will request this this class right now I able to use this to do the basic operation uh, the map struct has also several features and plugins to make it available for spring for CDI and so on so I do it manually but if you wish 
and that is a plugin to use with Spring and CDI where you can just do the injection of the livery mapper and that is it. You can use auto magically. That is awesome, right? Okay, the idea here to explain more about the map struct is automatically solution or framework to make easier to you to convert to from any Java object. The first idea that might come out of your mind is, of course, DTO, data transfer object, where I do have my entity domain and I want to convert that outside my my application and yes you can use a solution however with this solution you can use in several scenarios for example imagine that i do have an integration with legacy application so i can do an adapter to use a new model so imagine right now also that I need to handle with the old version of API version number one with version number two. So I can do two from, two from those entities automatically. And why do it instead of do it manually? Remember, less code, less bug. Uh, it's a Maven project, as you can see. So I'm using, I need to include the map structure here with this latest version that we're running this video. So 1.5.5 final. As I said, it's not use reflection. Instead of it gonna run the whole information build time with annotation pro processor path. Right now, let's imagine a scenario that I do have a delivery class and I want to move this object to a DTO or a new model. What I'm gonna do, I will have four fields, track ID, when I will deliver a city and country, and then move to another class. And I try to use different uh, types just to show how smart this framework is. And if you wish, you can have even more integrations, okay? So my first step is come here, I will create my delivery class, delivery class. As I said, uh, UUID, uh, track ID here. My local date to say when I will deliver this package, the city. And finally, the country where I will deliver this package. What I'm going to do next is to create my constructor and then my getter setters. So imagine this scenario here. So the ID make my life easier so I can generate code faster. And I will create my equals hash code. like here so i do have this equals and hash code here and then i do have my i will include my two string done right now what we have is my delivery class with four fields the next step right now is to check and verify if it's gonna work, of course. So I will create my test, should convert to DTO, where I will come here, I will create my test, and I will create my delivery, my delivery class, my delivery, where I will return a new delivery that I will receive a new U id and then locate your date now and then salvador my city the city that i was born and my country brazil based on that i can come here and do the mapper so to dto 
delivery that I that we receive my detail and then I can do the soft assertion with assert softy and then do my my verification so I come here softy I said that I said that this ETO is not new and then come with uh, DTO city oops DTO city is equal to my delivery city my soft asset that my DTO country is equals to delivery country and then I will do that until you fill up the whole field so I put the ID so it to be a little bit different right now because I need to do the they get delivery they get ID track ID and then the two string and I need to do something pretty similar with this one here so the when is equals to delivery when two string and that is it for test I will run this test here and it worked of course you can do the the one way to another way of course we need to create another test but to make this video chart I won't do it right now and if you are curious to see the code that it generated you can go to target generated source and you can see here the the code generated so it won't use reflection basically to regenerate um, a conversion for you manually where you gonna include that on the build time that's all for today so today you cover a little bit around map struct how you can use so it's just a overview of course you can do integration with spring cdi and so on and hopefully you enjoy please put your thoughts and if it was useful for you uh, leave the like Thank you.